After the Israeli ground offensive expanded south, UN officials are now saying there are no safe places in the besieged Gaza Strip. We do not have a humanitarian operation in southern Gaza that can be called by that name anymore. Saying that without said places of safety, the humanitarian plan is in tatters. And as a growing number of civilians seek refuge in Rafa, food is in short supply. About the lack of food, I don't know what they're waiting for. They're waiting for us to gradually die. Should we die from hunger? According to the US, Israel has agreed to the reopening of Kerem Shalom border crossing at the very south of Gaza's border with Israel, as Egypt lobbies for faster checks on aid shipments. But with fighting ongoing in the south, almost no supplies are reaching the north, where Hamas have declared a state of famine. Israeli TV, meanwhile, has broadcast images that appear to show Palestinians detained by the Israeli army, stripped almost naked as Israeli troops walk between the rows of men. Here they are blindfolded. In one mobile video, a dark green sleeve in the foreground suggests the person filming wore an Israeli military uniform. And another video appears to show detainees being transported in an Israeli military vehicle. When asked about the footage, an IDF spokesman responded. They hide on the ground and come out and we fight them. Those who remain in this area are coming out, some from shafts, some from houses as well. We investigate and check who is connected to Hamas. Everyone is arrested and questioned. London-based Arabic-speaking media Al-Arabi Al-Jadid say one of their reporters is among the detainees.